Capricorn, this is your forecast for the month of July 2017. This is a general reading for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising, or Capricorn Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. You can watch your reading in three different ways. The full extended monthly, or for just the energy influence, watch the brief. Or in addition to the brief, watch the weekly for the upcoming week. Weeklies also make it easy for you to review information you may have forgotten in the full reading. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com and I invite you to follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. Please also check out my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash on-demand slash finding love for monthly love readings. So Capricorn, the first week of July begins with perhaps a celebration of some sort. There's a gathering. You're getting out in the community or you're having a reunion. Or maybe you're going to a party. Uh, but this is a period of social engagement. Uh, maybe there's a marriage or a wedding or somebody's having a baby or somebody, again, is just throwing a party, but you are uniting with others. This could also be a week where you are celebrating because you've gotten some kind of gain. You're reaping the harvest of something that you were involved with. Uh, so you could be getting some success in some area of your life. There could be some recognition and you could be uh, enjoying that attention. Uh, this could be a week of entertaining others and extending some a form of hospitality. Uh, some of you may even be working in the hospitality industry, but this is going to be a week of sharing, a lot of exchanges and social interactions with other people, a lot of information exchanged. Uh, so a lot of chances for you to share how you feel and connect in warm ways with other people. And this open dialogue is going to give you the ability to solve some problems, resolve any misunderstandings, smooth some things over, and connect with people who have good information that you can use. Now, in the process, you're also going to be connecting with people who want to give you information that could be trivial. In fact, it could be gossip. It may not be worth listening to. So you're going to have to check the timing of something and the facts before you invest in it, before you actually put any stock in what they're saying. Because somebody could be distorting the facts or exaggerating something or embellishing the truth, or somebody could even be letting the cat out of the bag about something. And for some of you, you know, this could be like third parties and situations where your imagination runs away with you and you think that people are saying things or they're fighting with you or fighting over you or you're thinking that somebody is the rescue to a situation. So for some of you, this is going to be about being overindulgent or somebody being unfaithful or dealing with excess in some way, maybe, you know, addictive behavior, drinking too much, uh, indulging too much, infidelity or involved in a, a romantic situation that may have gotten off track. Uh, there could be issues of selfishness or for some of you, you know, being overwhelmed in your emotions, uh, or in some cases, something is canceled. Maybe you are excluded or left out. 
and and that's the issue or someone close to you so this could be a week where you need to accept a situation and stop struggling uh, but again in the best of, of worlds this is about a sense of friendship community sharing healing in fact there could be issues connected to healing in some way now the second week you have fire energy this could be Aries Leo Sagittarius Sun Moon or rising male or female and some of you are dealing with young people this could be a week where you get some exciting news and maybe it has something to do with cause for celebration maybe there's an invitation or something that you're hearing uh, where that promotes some sense of optimism for you it may be important for you to you know rally others cheer them on in something some of you are involved in something enterprising or creative or stimulating or inspirational in some way so this could be a week that focuses on uh, again professions that inspire or motivate others uh, teachers uh, salespeople coaches uh, actors athletes performers uh, and it could be there's a focus on a student if you have a connection to a young person or learning something uh, this could be a week of new acquaintances so something unexpected could happen some new possibility could open up that requires you to take some immediate action it could be a new idea that's come up or a new attitude that you're taking on uh, but this is a week where you're going to have to make a decision uh, you could have some very spirited interactions with other people where you're being you know opening up your heart and sharing some things or maybe you're developing your social skills for success in some way so again new possibilities where you're go going to make some small changes in your life in some area that creates uh, a better opportunity for you to be social with other people uh, for you to be more social so this could be a week where there's an invitation maybe you're going to take a small trip or that party or gathering of some sort where your social skills are on display and you are attracting other people to you now in the negative there's some inconsistency of behavior uh, maybe somebody is being unreliable or unpredictable uh, and it could be that given what has happened let's say somebody was gossiping or there were some third party issues there could be a fear this week or obsessing about some negative situation or the possibility that that's going to occur if there were issues of infidelity it could be that somebody is not capable of having a relationship or focusing on the future there could be issues where somebody's being irresponsible or there's a lack of passion or motivation uh, or again unfaithfulness somebody getting their heart broken and somebody that can't be trusted so if that's the case this could be a week of some bad news where people feel powerless uh, there is maybe people are you know blowing things out of proportion they're being very theatrical there's some drama this week and somebody's being domineering and if that's the case you may be looking at your relationship because there have been some changes that have occurred over time that you're not quite comfortable with and you're not feeling good about it and you don't even know when or where this turn took place so you're having to make a decision this week now the third week you are struggling and maybe you're struggling to take some action or make a decision or you're struggling with what some information that's been put out there uh, or maybe you're struggling to heal you're taking some actions re with regard to healing and and whatever it is this week is pulling upon your strength it's taxing you somehow uh, you're trying to stand your ground but you're drawing on any reserves that you have now maybe you're dealing with some prior conflicts and it's important for you to protect your rights in some way in fact you may be building a wall around yourself or trying to protect something of yours uh, 
so this is about you know, having courage under fire, being able to push through a situation. And somebody may be defensive about something. They may be on guard because of some things that have occurred earlier. Uh, it could be that something is coming back to you to deal with. There's some changes that have been made or something that you thought was dead and over with is now coming back, you know, to haunt you again. Or it could be positive. It could be you're struggling to bring something back. You're trying to cross that finish line and something that you thought was over and done with actually has some new life in it. There's some renewal about it. <clears throat> so this is about persevering in order to reach some type of victory, which you will meet. Although, again, it's going to take everything you've got uh, to overcome something. So there could be something unexpected that comes up. And, you know, maybe you've just recently dealt with some small setbacks or uh, maybe you just dodged a bullet or you've taken some hard knocks. Uh, but this says this week you're going to take a time out to reassess what you value and as a result, you're going to change some habits that brought you to this place. Uh, so you're having to make a decision. And based on the new information, you're going to look at something and think, hmm, I got to make some changes here because you've been contributing to a situation and you want to make you want to improve it in some way. Uh, so you're looking at things differently in order to create some changes for yourself. Now, if you're getting it, if you're going with the flow, you're coming to a greater understanding. There's you you realize what the the positive and spiritual lesson was. And so, because you've gained some wisdom through these hard knocks, you have this new outlook that gives you you know, a better, more grounded way of looking at something. You're being more practical and you're not letting your emotions get in the way of a situation. You're working with those emotions. Uh, so you're you're move. You're not trying to get too far ahead of yourself or look too far into the future. You're just taking things one step at a time. Now, for some of you, you know, maybe this is in the negative. Somehow you're losing your strength. You, you were trying to protect yourself. You feel a loss of power or you're being overpowered by other people. Uh, maybe you feel like your rights have been stripped from you or uh, there's some kind of loss because you weren't being realistic about your plans in the first place. Maybe you've lost your status or maybe you're just on guard and overly defensive. Uh, but you're going to learn something this week or you're going to discover something uh, that is going to be the catalyst for change for you. And it's going to motivate you to do better, to try harder or to pick up yourself and try again to go in a better direction. For some of you, that's going to be hard to do. There's some changes that you know that you need to make, but you have a tendency to remain in a comfort zone. Old habits, old attitudes, situations coming back again uh, that you know are blocking your chance for advancement. You may need to distance yourself from a situation, especially if you're letting your feelings get in the way. You should be focused on the facts. Remember the first week said for you to be careful about what you actually invest in, what people are telling you, because it may not be true. Uh, you may be feeling some sense of loss or confusion, and it's going to be important for you to cut through the fog of any feelings and deal with just the facts. So you need to rethink a situation before you make any decisions. And this may connect to moving from an old situation. Now, the last week you have this Four of Cups, and this card is emphasized by virtue of falling in the fourth place. Uh, so this card is especially important. Now, you could be dissatisfied about a situation and you're re-evaluating something. There could have been something that was put 
to you on offer and you're withdrawing, uh, you're not accepting, maybe you're struggling to be social or struggling to share your feelings, uh, but there's a feeling of discontent. Now, you could be missing an opportunity because you're so focused on your own concerns or maybe there's a sense of apathy in something. Maybe you don't even care. Maybe you're bored with something or you're looking inward in order to come up with an answer because something about your situation is lacking. You realize that there's something missing that's leaving you empty and maybe even depressed. Uh, there's a lack of motivation. So you may be waiting and thinking before you you know, take your next step. But you're going to be required to do something. This is going to be a week where you're going to have to step out there and, and believe in yourself or a situation or another person or all of those because something is going to happen for you that makes you feel somewhat anxious, somewhat worried about something. And, and it may cause you to be very uh, focused on matters at hand. You're not able to take any offers until you actually solve a problem or a responsibility that you need to address. Uh, now, if you're feeling good about where you are, then there are going to be a lot of opportunities for you that will open doors, some pleasant connections that will allow you to feel more secure for you to uh, grow materially or emotionally. Uh, if you're feeling good about where you are, you're going to have some emotional satisfaction and you should be picking up on cues that the universe is sending to you. Pay attention to your intuition. Look for the synchronicities, the little signs that are being offered. This is going to be a week of uh, possibilities for you. And it's going to be important for you to remove yourself from the emotion, focus on the facts, not, not pay attention to everything you're being told. There could be something that's being offered to you and you're having to look in the long range. Uh, it looks promising on the surface. It looks promising in the here and now, but somehow you have the foresight to see that there are some pitfalls in the future if you are to take a particular path. So you're able to see things that other people can't see. And that foresight is going to arm you with the ability to uh, diffuse problems that could come up. You can cut something off at the pass, nip it in the bud, and make some plans more easily for yourself. Uh, this is going to be a week where your material concerns and the emotional are all tied together. Now, if you are dealing with any doubt, uh, maybe you don't know what's going to happen right now, or you don't know what's going to happen in the future, you may be looking at your situation and struggling with the choices that you've made. Maybe everything you've done or said hasn't been the wisest and you're now looking at that and thinking about how you are reaping what you have sown. So it, it, this could be a week where you simply can't relax. You may choose to withdraw because, again, you're focused on some task, some dilemma, and you're even closing yourself off to reliable advice that may help you or serve you in some way. So maybe you're, you're in denial about a situation. Maybe you're taking too much for granted, There's some, and, and that causes you to miss an opportunity. Uh, Maybe there are some things that have changed or that will change and you don't realize it. You're still operating with an old mindset or under the illusion of old circumstances when things have changed. So this is about getting real. For some of you, the focus is, you know, believing in your dreams and your visions and manifesting something. But for others of you... This is a wake-up call that you need to sort out fiction from reality. And that could tie back to information that you're receiving uh, about what's real and what's not. What's the truth and what could be a lie or merely gossip or trivial information. 
So the underlying energy is this Fool card. Now, again, this may have to do with a young person or someone at a distance or perhaps traveling in some way. Uh, but you will be taking a new direction this month. You're going to step off there and, and, and leap into the unknown. There's a fresh start for you. And this is a new chance for something. This is a new opportunity, a new experience, and important decisions uh, will be made. It could be that you come up with some kind of solution that is surprising to a situation. Or perhaps you're dealing with some kind of setback, maybe something in the domestic area, some significant and unexpected circumstance for you that now requires a change. And you're going to have to be... Uh, original and innovative in your approach and you're going to have to be open-minded. You could be looking at areas of your life where you have been a bit naive. Uh, maybe you, you are taking a risk and perhaps it's going to pay off for you, but in some cases there's been some impulsiveness, some foolishness, some poor judgment. Uh, and so you're dealing with issues of irresponsibility or some unexpected problems because there's been a lack of follow through on something. Some poor decisions have been made, too many risks, somebody's playing with fire. Now, regardless of what's happening, you're going to be stepping out into a new chapter. Now, this may have to do with the decision concerning love. It could be romantic love, family love, love of what you're doing, uh, you know, giving and receiving love and opening your heart, being more childlike, more open in your connections to other people or being more loving. Uh, there could be issues where you've been closing yourself off. If you are ready to take a risk, a cautious risk, then there's more to gain for you. You're ready to take on more responsibility. You know that you're responsible for your own success, your own happiness. And this is a month where you may feel very motivated to go in new directions in order to make that happen. You might start a new job. You might move. You might make some changes that are necessary. Uh, you might start a study program. You might start a new relationship. Or you may end some things in order to have a new experience. Whatever it is, for the most part, you're going to feel a renewed sense of self-confidence. And it's likely that you're going to be having new experiences and meeting new people. This is an excellent month for you to put some new plans in motion, to introduce yourself to others, to cultivate some relationships, to uh, renew some acquaintances, uh, establish some connections in your professional life and in your personal life with people who can help you move forward in new directions. Now, for some of you, though, this is, you know, again, falling back on old habits, uh, fooling yourself, deceiving yourself in some way, going out of your way to impress the wrong people or save the wrong people. And some of you, again, are taking some foolish risks. You're being impatient or there's too much confidence. You're over optimistic about a situation. And part of it is these issues of selfishness where maybe, of course, you want to move ahead. You want personal gain. You want recognition. But it should not come at the expense of others. Uh, so you may lose touch with reality. You may uh, be insensitive to other people, what they feel, what they need, because you're so focused on your own personal gain. In fact, this is going to be a month that is emphasized uh, with regard to security. How grounded are you? What is your standing? Where do you stand in a situation? Uh, how secure are you? Uh, do you fit in with the group? Is your tribe behind you? And this is going to center around 
partnerships, contracts, agreements, and some type of a review of an opportunity. Could be your finances, could be should you go with what's safe versus what's risky. Uh, and it's going to center around probably a promise that's been made, a promise to you or a promise uh that you're making to someone else or perhaps some invitation to some kind of event. Now, there, there is an enthusiasm. You're motivated. You're pumped up about something, some new project. But yet at the same time, you're also holding yourself back. There's some resistance to the very same pursuit that you're interested in. So over the course of the month, things are going to kind of slow down, either because you're having a battle with yourself, there's some kind of inner emotional resistance, or simply because the environment is not conducive to moving whatever it is that you're interested in forward. So things are going to move, but it's just going to meet with some resistance. And you have this real desire, this real incentive to get things moving. And yet again, this emotional tug of war. Now, it could be there's some kind of conflict of interest, or it could be that you're making a choice, that you're prioritizing work over love or relationships or romance. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know with your comments and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great month and I look forward to speaking with you next month.